everyone and welcome to my question and answer video session. So most of my videos are done out on the road but I decided I'd put together a little question and answer session just about me and some of the things that I'm doing so this is part of a um, few little video series that I'm going to be putting together. So first question is how did I get into cycling? So I have been riding bikes now for about five years not really that long, um, but it all started when one of my university friends signed me up for a charity challenge. So we were taking part in a um, bit of a triathlon really, unconventional triathlon. Um, so we were climbing Snowdon, um, a 30 kilometer bike ride, and then a two kilometer kayak. So I was really unfit. Um, I'd had a few years of just partying and enjoying myself too much at university, really unfit, got a bike just to get a little bit fitter and one thing kind of led to another and then I ended up um, just cycling more so I got a bike just to get fit but I ended up actually cycling rather than doing any walking or any other sort of training. Um, started going on group rides, joining club runs, um, then I ended up doing some time trials, some road races. Um, doing the distance, like just going further and further, and it's just become just a massive part of my life now. Can't imagine what I would actually do if I wasn't riding bikes. So yeah, it's been a really good step and something that I'm really glad that I took up. Next question that I had through my Instagram uh, story was, who inspires me? Um, and I think that is a really tough question because there's lots of bike riders that I really look up to and I really admire. For example, I know it's a cliche, but Marianne Voss, I think she's just one of the best riders to watch race and I always love watching her compete. Um, but there's lots of others as well. But one person that really sort of encouraged me to really take up cycling and just really go for it and just have a go at stuff and throw myself in and not be afraid to travel to events and things that I wanted to do and that's my sister. Um, so when I first started cycling she was quite keen on rowing um, but she also used to give up some of her days just to come to races with me and just encourage me to start blogging, taking pictures and just yeah just really encouraging it. So I guess not so much of an inspiration but someone who's just really supported me. Um, so I'm really lucky that I've had some really supportive people um, around so yeah to say that's definitely a big player in that question. So next question, what is the toughest ride that I've completed to date? Um, there's been a few, there's been quite a few challenge rides that I've taken on. Um, I'm not afraid to say yes to a challenge. In fact, I'm quite hard, I'm quite bad at not say, uh, saying no. Um, but there's been a few, so the Vatten Rudin, it's a 300 kilometre ride that I did um, through Oakley, so I joined like an Oakley team, um, and they were all lots of really strong riders, but just riding for that distance and riding through the night, it's an amazing event, um, so we start at 8 o'clock at night and then rode all the way through the night, um, it took about 10 hours or something, it was, it was fast, it was in quite a big group for a lot of it until I got dropped. Um, but yeah, I got in rid of really, really good group of people that kind of really carried me to the finish, but it was one of those that I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish. Um, another one's got to definitely be La Marma, which I think tops the hardest of hard rides that I've done. I'm not a natural climber. I'm not built for climbing. Um, so to complete that ride, um, I think it was like 117 miles after we'd rode there and back and 15,000 feet plus of climbing. So yeah, definitely a tough one. Definitely one that really, really, really tested me and I was feeling very broken at the end. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're definitely the two hardest. I can't think there's, there's been lots of other ones that have definitely been tough, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I do like a challenge. Question, how was Red Bull time lapse? Um, hard. Yeah, definitely, definitely a tough one. Um, for those of you who don't know, Red Bull time lapse, so it's a 25 hour race. Um, it would be 24 hours, but it happens when the clock's changing. So you have that extra hour to contend with. And just between a team of four of you, or for really crazy people, a solo rider, um, you have to complete as many laps of um, Windsor Park. 
that was where the course was. I think the course is going to change this year. Um, so it's just as many laps that you can um, record in that 25-hour period. Um, it's just gruelling. I think just we had to battle really, really crazy tough weather. So battling the weather with fatigue and, you know, it, get, it gets hard at two in the morning when you're going out on your bike. It just feels so unnatural. Um yeah, it was it was hard, but the crazy thing was, I think we all thought at the time, we're never doing this again. Why are we doing this? I was worried everyone was going to hate me because I put the team together. Then the next day we were all discussing what we could do better and how it would be really good to do it again. And that we'd love to get a podium. So <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, it's re really, really good. It, really good team event um, for team bonding, like real challenge, but really worthwhile. I think that's one of the things with cycling, like the hardest and the most challenging rides are the ones that are the most worthwhile. So, yeah. Another question, uh, where is my favorite place to ride a bike? Now, um, for those of you that do follow my YouTube videos, I have posted a few videos of riding in the French Alps and that is definitely one of the best places to, for, for me that I enjoy riding a bike. It's hard really challenging terrain um lots of going uphill amazing descents amazing views amazing roads um i just love it it's hard it's really really tough um lots of really really challenging roads but it's definitely worth it and i would definitely recommend a trip to uh, the alps um i guess there's lots of places that i'd love to ride um the dolomites is well up there um, I'd like to go to Austria, um, Slovenia, so definitely got lots of pl other places I'd like to visit. I ride for Leicester Forest Cycling Club. Um, I'm not part of a team. I don't race enough really to ride as part of a team and I don't train enough either to be, to be up there. Um, it's something that I considered back when I was racing most weekends, uh, but I like being able to ride for myself. I don't really want to have to ride for someone else. Not that I'm selfish and I'm all about supporting my team and club mates, but I just want to be able to turn up a race when I want and plan it that way rather than sort of really having to get involved with all the team tactics. So, And also I do a mix of different things. So yeah, it works for me riding in a cycling club and we've got a really good sort of team that we've built up through the club. Um, lots of grassroots kind of racing going on and just encouraging people to have a go at different things. So definitely work really well for me. It has to be porridge in the winter but muesli and yoghurt in the summer. Don't know why but we have a little bit of a switch of the seasons uh, with breakfast. Disc brakes or rim brakes? So if that is a controversial question in this house. My partner Carl hates disc brakes on road bikes. Um, I personally really like them. I think they work really well and they're really reliable. Um, but no, not for everyone. Socks under or over leg warmers? I'm going to say over. Coffee? Oh, I can't choose, there's a place for both. I do like a nice tea, but I like coffee too. Can't say, sorry. Rollers or turbo? Both have a place. I can't say that I do too much indoor training, um, but if I'm going to do proper indoor structured training session, it'll be on the turbo, uh, but I like my rollers for warm-ups. So again, sorry, can't decide, I'm not very good at this. What is the best thing about cycling? Um, for me, I think it is that it can be anything that you want it to be. So whether you want it to be competitive or a social thing or just a way of just forgetting about stuff or just getting out just think yeah it's that it's that is they can be anything so whether you're wanting to go somewhere or it's about racing training working towards a goal meeting new people um you know when you when you're cycling it's such a social sport there's group rides for everyone and all abilities going on wherever you are and um, so there's always something to get involved in the cycling community are great as well so I guess that's lots of things that's good about it, but yeah, cycling's good, ride bikes. <laughs> partner. 
that's got to be my Leicester Forest girls. We have some really good little rides going on, um, and some of them, like you know, Anna, Lucy, um, lo lots of them, just really well matched. So it means that we can just get out and have a really good training session. Um, it's really competitive. Um, we always have a little bit of race, sprints for lines and signs and stuff. Um, but it's a really encouraging and sporting environment as well. Like you know, we're competing against each other, but we want the best for each other and you know to sort of really really encouraging and supportive so that's great and they make going to races and events just really really good so cards for this year so i guess my main aim really is just to enjoy cycling i can't i dad i'm not really into i've kind of lost the love for racing a little bit so just sort of like the training and racing every week I'm not down for that. I don't want to do it. Um, so I'll dip in and out of the odd race here and there that you know I want to do. Probably be swayed by which of my friends is riding and you know fear of missing out and all that. Uh, but I've got a few little trips planned. So I'm going to be going to the Pyrenees with the whole health team. That's a bit of a triathlon training uh, week, and I'll be leading the the cycling, the rides. Um, I'm going to be what else am I doing? Um, doing a little solo tour to Amsterdam. That's going to be fun because a few of my um, friends are competing in the triathlon, duathlon, duathlon world champs um, for age group, uh, which will be in Almere in Amsterdam. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, going to do a little week in Norfolk and that, just lots of little, little bits here and there. Um, oh, I've got some Grand Fondos coming up in Belgium at the end of March, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so just hopefully get lots of cycling in over summer, get the miles in, just enjoy it.